Hey, good morning. So, I think there's two things that at lodges and hotels around the world, around the world, this needs to be a thing, is we need to do a movement where we standardize the shower taps and how hot water is produced and managed because how nice would it be if you knew the temperature you're gonna get and then often you'll just look at the cold tap and the temperature changes. Other thing that also needs to be standardized around the world is coffee machines at lodges and how they work because by the time you have to leave a place, you've just gotten to know the coffee machine in the room. So, you know, random. Um, it is a Thursday morning. It is now 4.25, 4.26. Up early, just had a nice shower. I figured out the taps. And um, I'm going to work on my newsletter, which goes out tomorrow. And in it, I'm touching a little bit on anxiety and depression and how people feel. A lot of people go through life and they have these feelings and they feel tired and uninterested and worried about stuff. They don't, they don't always know what it is. I just kind of talk about that a little bit, not too long. And the other one was short and punchy, just some straight to the point, call it life advice, if you will, because I think it's necessary. <laughs> so I'm going to just lay out the thing this morning, do the framework. We're going to go on drive. We're going to come back, have breakfast. The food at Jamal has been absolutely amazing. Next level amazing. And then... I'm going to finish the newsletter. I've got a little bit of admin to do emails and such. And then, yeah, then that's it. Oh, and then I'm moving out of the room here because how it works for something like this is we, as a private guide, when you're hosting guests, obviously the guests are in the rooms and they're paying for the whole thing, but we pay a guide's rate. Now, because we have good relationships with a lot of the lodges, they would put us in a guest's room, villa in this instance, if it is available which has been amazing, but then I'm moving to a guide's room or a pilot's room, right? And the sad thing is I've heard of princess guides, shame. They are so adorable that they believe it's their right to be in a guest room and do you know who I am? That how dare you put me in a guide's room? They're out there. <laughs> shame, little princesses. So important. Oh, but if you put me in a guest room, I can post about you on my social media. And no, you're not there. That is not your intent. Your intent is to be a little princess in your villa. <laughs> anyway, fucking idiots. First cup of coffee is almost done. So the coffee's good out of the machine, but it needs to be warmer. I think I'm missing something, but I just boiled the kettle, so I'm going to operate the system now. Uh, Sightings so in Madikwe have been pretty good. We've done the western side and the eastern side. And yesterday we spent a pretty decent amount of time at a brown hyena den, which is quite unique. Phenomenal images. Great sighting for the guests who, first of all, have never seen a brown hyena. And now you saw three young ones and the mom, which is great. Uh, I have another three nights. Is it three nights? What's today? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Three nights before I leave back to Johannesburg. My guests are flying out. So I'm driving on Sunday morning off to breakfast back to Johannesburg. Some podcast time. It's one of the things I miss hey, on a trip is music and podcasts. I've been going deep on podcasts. Uh, I need to do a few new ones. I am thinking about today recording one, maybe two, if I can find time, uh, with the, oh, one of the shoulders slash chefs here at Jamala. Just their story. Also with one of my guests. This because we always this interesting conversation and. I want that on my podcast because I think we need conversation. I think we really do. I hurt myself yesterday, so. But, but yeah, I am going to quickly do some work. And then about an hour from now, I'm going down to the lodge and the day starts. And that is about it. Um, no, no real question for the day. I don't know, tea or coffee? In the comments below, tea or coffee? Just answer that. I... Like I said in the previous episode, I've been bubbling on quite a few things that I'm going to be executing against when I come back. When I get back to Joburg, I'm off on Monday because we take a recoup day after a safari from a wild point of view. And then my next trip from there on is the big ones are starting. I'm going to Svalbard, flying on the 15th or 16th of May. So home for about a month and a bit. 
back into training in a big way and put some changes in place and execute against a few things that I have been wanting to for quite some time. So that's exciting. Anyway, gotta go. Question for the day. Tea or coffee? I've got an allergy. Tea or coffee in the comments below. And I'll chat to you, if not tomorrow, in the next episode. Okay, have a good one. I'm going to make some more coffee. My name is Jerry from Wild Eye. Bye, guys.